everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a first look at Vierna. She is really cool, I mean aesthetically, let's be honest, that alone, but she sounds pretty awesome. So let's check her out. The finest blood for the most untainted soul. So I'm actually here in the gallery on the Forerunners server. Let's look at Vierna. So what I'm going to do for this video, guys, is I'm going to take a look at her in game. I am here again on the Forerunners server. I don't have like a fancy Forerunners account that I played for a long time. I just have a very bare bones, just unlocked enough to get to the gallery account. So nothing special here, no test server, nothing fancy, but at least I can see what's coming. And at least I can see some of these heroes in the gallery and take a proper look. So we have Vierna, a mage, magic. Let's see, execution, continuous damage. Her talent, basic attack, applies mortal kiss on the target. Mortal kiss deals AoE magic damage equal to 25% of the caster's attack to the effect bearer and the surrounding enemies in a large range every second. Airborne units take half the damage. So she's another half the damage like Celis, man. That's kind of a bummer. But that's just her with her talent here. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of her stuff. So her basic attack is 100% damage to one enemy. Attack speed bonuses do not affect basic attack. Okay, she's sounding a lot like Zealous. <laughs> so far she's sounding like Zealous, but I'm assuming a bit better based on some stuff I've seen. So this I've read through her kiss. She sounds really cool. Oh, even when you click here, you actually see a little preview. Reaper's Grasp is her ultimate, which is manually done. Deals 700% AoE damage to enemies in range. Kills enemies with HP below 25%. After a short delay, elite monsters and bosses are excluded. Ooh, I love that. So she's kind of got a little finishing move. And the good thing is the manual, the ultimate overall just smashing with 700% damage. It's not, I don't think that matters for sake of the talent, oh, the whole mortal kiss thing. That's just a bonus damage, really. Uh, but this is just, is what it is. So this is fine against airborne units, I'm assuming. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be. She does have a passive here. The hero extracts the souls of the victims into the crystal on the staff. She can collect up to six souls. Each soul increases her attack by 2%. When there are at least two enemies within range of basic attack, consumes one soul and one target of base attack. And plus one target of the base attack. All right, collect up to six souls. Next, we have this auto skill here, uh, Skeletal Shield. Applies Bone Shield to the ally with the lowest HP percentage in range. The skill cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds for every kill, up to 12 seconds. And Bone Shield increases physical damage reduction by 10% and deals AoE magic damage equal to 10% attack to nearby enemies per second. Airborne units take half the damage. So yeah, it does seem like a lot of her kind of bonus damage that she can provide a team um, actually don't really benefit with airborne units as much, which is always a bummer, but it sounds like her kit is interesting enough and her ultimate sounds strong enough to where airborne units are still gonna be fine to go up against. Plus you're gonna have other people in your team that can handle them as well. All right, let's take a look here. Last passive, Pledge of Yore, a bond skill. Ooh, what's that? This is new. Obtain hero. Sil oh, she pairs. Oh, of course they do. They really do copyright Shadow Legends, don't they? Obtain hero Silas the Blind King to unlock the following bonus effect. Bone shield restores extra HP equal to 10% attack per second. So she's got a healed with the bone shield as well. If you have Silas in the team, I'm assuming. Um, it says obtain hero to unlock the bonus. But wouldn't that mean they have to be in the team as well? This I don't know, honestly. If anyone knows that's watching this video that did play on the Forerunner server and has experience with these 
bond skill heroes let us know in the comments below it says obtain heroes like if you just have him you have this skill or does he have to be on the same team let me know her awakenings here when applying mortal kiss magic resistance reduction will also be applied increase attack on her awaken 2 her awaken 3 when reaper's grasp kills an enemy with mortal kiss deals 120 percent magic damage to all enemies around it Ooh, i love that kind of like a splash damage when you kill an enemy love that her awakening four gives a reduction of cost by two and her awakening five bone shield deals double the damage to enemies with mortal kiss oh i love it and she does have a spit of a story here i'm assuming that goes along with silas as well but i'm gonna leave that for another time so let's check her cost. her cost is 20 so it's not crazy but um minus two 18 it's definitely a little bit better so here is her base levels so you guys can see her stats when she is at max level just her base stats here we have 4300 attack 10500 hp 734 defense and she does have the base no ba extra base crit rate base typical base crit damage and yeah all right i think she looks amazing right so let's go ahead and watch the little clips that we have seen posted from the official YouTube channel. Vierna, the Wrath Queen, Hall of Fame. Yes, queen. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, next. And then we have the Watcher's Archive. There is life after death. Let me show you. It looks cool. Watcher of realms. Simple, just a little clip of her skill. Oh, wait, let's see it again. Like a chain with a claw. It's weird. Oh, I what? like it. Chains go across and like rip across the claw. We also have some infographics to look at that have been posted officially by the game. So we're going to talk about damage output, recommended gear, and her battle compatibility. So first of all, her damage output. She's an incredible AoE mage with the ability to execute enemies in a wide range. Of course, she's a magic damage dealer. Her basic attack can inflict continuous AoE damage. Her ultimate allows her to kill low HP enemies instantly. And then her gear in early stages prioritize building Vierna's attack so that she can serve as the main damage dealer in your team. And then in the later stages, you can shift your focus toward maximizing her crit damage for optimal impact. They do suggest the sets here for late game. We're talking two piece warlord or three piece ageless wrath. And then early game, we have calamity wrathful onslaught and three piece fracture or the sticks. And then Skull of Desecration for her artifact. Equip Vierna with the Skull of Desecration artifact to amplify her AoE damage and unlock her maximum damage output potential. Of course, early game, it's stats over sets. Just pound her with a bunch of attack and you'll be good to go. Vierna wields potent and relentless AoE damage abilities backed by a devastating ultimate that swiftly annihilates monsters. She excels in gear raid one, and arena with the aoe dps challenge and sustain dps challenge all right now last but not least let's pull up my buckets chan uh, website <laughs> and last but not least let's take a look at my buckets tier list to see how he has her ranked so let's just do overall not early oh overall she is on uh, the top oh he had number one mage listed for overall if you just sort that way early on a little lower but i'm sure that's not he's just trying to value people that are already out 
Um, but where does she really shine? I'm sure she shines in Guild Raid 1. And, oh god, look at her. She has her S plus for Guild Raid 1. Group, Arena, Basic Trial, pretty much everything. The only thing he has her as an F for is the Artifact uh, Raid because... You probably need just more supports to keep your melee damage dealers alive as they attack Salazar or defend to uh, the incoming horde. So you really don't need to use like a ranged unit. So this might be more of an NA than it is an F, but that's the only reason. Um, couple B for guild boss and single target stuff. Less obviously she's an AOE mage, but let's read what he has to say about her. Sounds like she's top tier, and honestly her kit sounds pretty cool. So I'm very curious about her. They are now the queen of area damage. Her ultimate has the ability to execute enemies, allowing her to clear waves incredibly fast. This makes her very useful in Guild Raid 1, but she can be used in almost every area of the game, with Guild Boss being her weakest area. I find myself using her in any speed team and also when trying new content. All right, guys, there you have it. There's Vierna. Um, I hope you appreciate this little first look at her, kind of just taking a dive and looking at the resources we have available to us for the new hero coming out. She is, of course, part of the 10 times event. And, well, she does pair with Silas. Really cool aesthetic as well. So Silas here, the highest single target piercing damage dealer in the game. He's a great option for high reliable damage and can be used in a variety of content and especially shines on... Uh, against enemies with high resistances, making him a fantastic boss killer. Ooh, I love it. All right, they do sound great, and I love that there's like a duo. I'm, I'm not surprised to see that's part of this game as well, but yeah. So we do have summons starting Thursday, and there's a two times event showing for Saturday. Are they going to be separate, or are they going to be together? I guess we don't know 100% just yet. But I have heard they did separate banners, so we're going to have to discuss that in another video. But hopefully you guys can join me live on stream either way. I will stream Friday as normal, but I might do an extra stream for Saturday instead if we want to do summons for these characters. But stay tuned, I will have more information regarding the summons.